Today I'm going to show you how to make this low carb keto friendly chocolate frappuccino. It's so good. It's loaded with just delicious ingredients. So keep watching. I'm going to show you how to make this now. Hi, it's Jolene from Yummy Inspirations. I share easy family meal ideas, low carb, keto friendly recipes every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So make sure you subscribe to get notified as soon as something new comes out. And today I have for you this beautiful, indulgent, low carb chocolate fra frappuccino. Look at all that cream on the top and it's just absolutely delicious. It's one of my favorite low carb treats that I've been enjoying on the low carb keto diet. So I'm going to get straight into the recipe, just, just so you know as well, the link will be down below so that you can click and get the full printable recipe to make it yourself um, and there's lots of other fun goodies down below so make sure you click through and read everything. Um, let's get straight into the recipe. To make our chocolate frappuccino, we need chocolate and I've got some good organic cacao, look at that in there. I've got a teaspoon of cacao in a mug over here and I'm going to pour over it trying not to spill, about a half a cup or so of boiling water. Mmm, I can smell the chocolate. And now we're going to let this cool down completely. I'm going to let it cool out the fridge and then once it's cool enough to go in the fridge, it's going to go in the fridge, oh steamy steamy, it's going to go into the fridge for just until it's fridge cold, so half hour, hour, not think about it. Cat's always around when I'm filming. Kitty, kitty. Um, so we're going to cool this down. Now, this does seem like a bit of a long-winded way to make uh, chocolate frappuccino. I have tried making it just by sticking the cocoa into the blender. And it's okay, but this way is much nicer. It's worth going to this little bit of effort. And it's barely effort at all. It's just mixing cocoa and hot water, let it cool. And then once it's cold, fridge cold, I will show you all the other ingredients and we will put this together. Okay, our hot chocolate our cocoa has been in the fridge for a good hour or so it's nice and cool so i'm popping this into my blender make sure we get all that good cocoa out of there and get myself a spoon so you could make this kind of the night before if you want it first thing in the morning make your cocoa mixture the night before keep it in the fridge and then in the morning it'll be nice and cool and ready to go and next we're going to add our sweetener of choice. Now, um, on keto, they on keto and low carb, the suggestion is to use um, different natural sweeteners, stevia, xylitol, that sort of thing. Unfortunately, none of those sweeteners agree with me, so I'm having a bit of trouble trying to find something to sweeten with. And in the meantime, I am using maple syrup, so I've got some pure maple syrup. Um, I'm for the moment happy to incorporate this as part of my day. So I've got it, uh, all, all I put into this is one teaspoon. And usually I share this whole, uh, the whole frappuccino with my husband. So half a teaspoon of maple syrup. I'm happy incorporating that into my day. Um, obviously it increases the carb the carb amount of this dish so you can use your sweetener of choice I've used a teaspoon if you want it sweeter use more and next we'll move on to our creaminess and we're gonna add two tablespoons of cream I've got thick cream here you could definitely add more if you want. I'm quite happy with a creaminess from two. Um, I kind of adapted this from a recipe for coffee frappuccino and they use four tablespoons of cream. I've got no problem with cream, but I add whipped cream onto the top of it. So I'm quite happy having two inside and then more on top. Um, totally up to you. This is just kind of the way that I do it. And then the final ingredient we need is ice. The whole cup full of ice going in there. It's all cooked straight away submerged. We've got a cup full of ice and that's pretty much it. We're going to pop it on to blend now. Okay, we've got it out set up on our blender. Zoomed in nice and close so you can see all the action. We've popped the lid on and away we go. Depending on the power of your blender and the size of the ice cubes that you've used, you might need to stop it, make sure it's turned off properly, and just give it a stir and give it a mix, make sure that the ice 
gets properly distributed. You don't want any huge big chunks of ice. And then we'll just pop it back on to blend until it is smooth and creamy to your liking. There you go, I'm happy with that. It's nice and foamy. And you can see, oh, get that out of the way. You see it's nice and foamy in there. We've got beautiful chocolate frappuccino. And now we'll just pour it out and top it with cream. Okay, I've got my mason jar that I'm gonna use and a nice plate underneath because I'm known to make a mess and we'll just pour it out. Oh, I'm just gonna grab a spoon. We've got lots of oh, foamy, icy bits in there. Oh yeah. We'll just pour it all out. Oh, look at that. All those lovely icy bits. This is just oh, making a huge mess. As always, oh, now just get all the rest. It's all, oh, it's, it's kind of like, it's like all slushy and chocolate. Um, obviously you can make this with coffee instead as the original recipe I followed, but I just love it with chocolate and I want to top it with some more cream. Just get it all out of there. Yum! Look at that. Oh, you see the foamy on top. There we go. I've tried to tidy up my mess a bit. And now we'll just top it with a generous couple of dollops of whipped cream. <laughs> Look at that. And our ch chocolate frappuccino is done. Oh, look at that. Oh, yum. So that is how I make my chocolate frappuccinos. It tastes amazing. Now that cream you can mix through and it just makes it extra, extra creamy. And it's just a beautiful, <laughs> high fat, low carb drink that just doesn't make you miss carbs at all. It's just amazing. Um, thanks so much for watching this video. If you like the video, leave a like and subscribe. I share new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So make sure you get subscribed to get notified as soon as something new comes out. And leave a comment. Let me know, have you made frappuccinos? What's your favorite flavor combination? I look forward to reading them and we'll see you again soon. Bye.